Hello everyone. Um, so uh, it's sometimes that I don't post, but I had some time to do some work here on the my custom 3D printer, and uh, hopefully I will have some more time. Not sure because work is a priority. Anyway, um, so I have two uh, projects that I want to work on: the x-axis and the z-axis. Okay, so. For the x-axis, let me let me put you a bit closer. So for the x-axis, I wanted to use linear rails, uh, but um, um, for now I will switch to just uh, uh, these uh, wheels. These are uh, steel, but then I have uh, uh, some rubber ones, and want to put the steel on top of the. Um, the holder of the uh, z-axis and you, uh, I'm going to show you and the reason why I picked the wheels instead of the uh, linear rails of course linear rails are much better but uh, um, I couldn't find some uh, guides that uh, would fit uh, uh, this place that, that I got uh, right here and um, I have this type and then mm, this type so they don't match the holes for the this linear rails or the bigger ones that I used for example for the uh, the y-axis and um, and the distance between this um, also so the holes here they don't fit and the distance doesn't allow me to fit correctly so I will need to do make some holes and um, for that I will need a vertical um, a vertical um, uh, how you say vertical tool um, to make a holes forgot the word sorry um, I also have other ones plates but they, they don't fit uh, all of them so uh, in the meantime because this is easy to to install it's just you slide in and screw and slide in when I will be able to do the holes that fits everything I will switch to linear rails and um, the other this is one project to make the x-axis and the other project that I'm started is the z-axis so this is the z-axis that will go vertical here and so this part here will be attached to the this plate that are going to attach to right now the wheels but then linear wheel, rail like this and this z-axis will go up and down there will be a motor here and attached to this uh, there will be uh, the two dual uh, pallet extruders okay so that's the project uh, two projects so I'm going to first work on the x-axis and then the z-axis let me move this down here and move there so I will need so let me remove this guys actually I screw already in so I need to unscrew this and then uh, screw a bunch of, uh, uh, bunch of um, um, holders here on, on the corner and I will attach this uh, to the uh, two um, y-axis uh, aluminum extrusion okay so I'll see you in a bit and as soon as I remove this and then I'll start to attach that so right now I'm mounting the uh, x-axis and unfortunately the the brackets that I bought they do not fit the holes so they fit on one side but on the other side they do not fit so they ship uh, the wrong ones and it doesn't matter if I use the three holes or two holes, uh, they do not fit. You see the holes goes on top of the 
on this line instead of on the this sliding so I had to uh, use this this one uh, this one they fit the small one which I don't like because uh, you know um, they're not uh, super rigid like like this guy and uh, so I put four four on this side and four on this side so I'm going to do the other side um, it's just a pain to to slide the uh, uh, the the screws and the and the bolts in the back just tedious job here I can show you just a bit um, it's just a uh, a pain so I did this one it wasn't too bad but now on the other side uh, since I don't have uh, a well actually it should be easier on the other side but we'll see because I can move this on the other side so this one was done so I'm going to do the other side and I'll back uh, I'll get back to you as soon as uh, I'm done yes uh, showing screwing and something it's not uh, fun okay so I'm done with the with the x-axis um, so here are the brackets here on, on the other side let me go on on this other side sorry I have a bunch of stuff everywhere here in the garage and here is the other and here by the way down there there is the carbon fiber uh, pallet so let me go back a second sorry I have to clean up a bit okay so this is the x-axis let me show you how it moves so it moves y axis here. Let me a second down. So y axis and this is the x axis, okay? And the z axis is going to be this guy, which will be mount right in the middle and it will move like this. Okay, and we'll go. This will go up and down. So now, uh, what I already found and uh, I knew. Um, so the, the the reason why I wanted to use this big bracket see here is because uh, they have almost no flex in X Y. Um, so right right here I can tell that it's if I move you here you see it's moving so I need to put some brackets here and on the bottom to make sure that this guy doesn't doesn't flex at all okay so if I had a long this ones most likely I wouldn't have that that issue so it's not much, it's like half a millimeter, but not half a millimeter, half a centimeter. Well, well it's kind of a lot, but not a lot that I cannot use it. And I will be able to fix it for sure. So let me, I'm going to fix it later on because I wanted to mix the X axis first. And, and, um, I want to do the Z axis now. First of all, the, the moving part, and then I will um, take care of that. Most likely, I will use some brackets like this, uh, like that, and then something else uh, 
probably I need to 3D print something on the bottom because it's a very strange um, connection to do. But this one, or maybe a longer one, a, a, a L shape, but this one should work. Anyway, so this is the X axis. Let me work on the Z axis. Um, and uh, I'll do another video for that. So please subscribe to the channel, share it, and um, check out the links of all the accessories that I'm installing. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.